I'm experimenting now with a new supplement that I came across in doing some research. I wanted to tell you folks about it. Uh, it's got some interesting properties that you might be interest you might be interested in. Also, uh, it's, it's called black ginger. Uh, the uh, biological name is Campferia pav pavaflora, and it comes from Southeast Asia. It's grown in the north and northeast of Thailand, as well as Malaysia, Sumatra, Borneo. It's a deep purple color. That's why they call it black ginger, as the name implies. It's a member of the ginger family. Ginger is a very healthy herb, often used for motion sickness. It has a lot of properties, anti-cancer properties. And black ginger is actually more potent than regular ginger, especially when it comes to antioxidant effects. And uh, when I, I'll just go over a little bit some of the qualities associated with black ginger. But keep in mind that unfortunately, like a lot of the other uh, substances I've, I've uh, discussed recently in some of the in these videos, most of the research emanates from animal and in vitro or isolated cell studies, which again, doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to humans, but there's no definitive evidence for uh, a lot of these effects. They probably do occur. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the mechanisms are plausible, but you know, there, it, it, there isn't a lot of evidence, human evidence for the simple reason that black ginger is a natural substance and to prove that it works in humans would require human studies that would cost millions of dollars that no drug company would be willing to spend because they can't patent this stuff. So in other words, it's not going to do them any good. So they, as the, you know, so the point is that the fact that there's not a lot of human evidence doesn't mean this stuff doesn't work. It's just that nobody wants to pay for the research. There have been some human studies, however, uh, with black ginger. Now, what does it do? Now, when it comes to cancer, uh, it tends to cause cancer cells to destroy themselves, a process called apoptosis. Uh, you know, that, uh, that's uh, when the uh, tumor cells d detects that it's a uh, uh, unregulated cell growth. It initiates a program, a process that results in the destruction of the tumor cell. Uh, it also promotes autophagy, which is a clearance of old, worn-out cells of the body related to aging. It has anti-inflammatory effects. It inhibits the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Uh, for example, tissue, nitro nitro tissue necrosis factor A. Uh, pro-inflammatory pro kind of, uh, cytokines are proteins released by the immune system that can play a role in wound healing and, in, and, uh, and beneficial inflammation. But when they're, uh, when they're released in excess, they uh, cause a lot of cell damage. In fact, one of the main uh, problems with COVID-19 was what they call cytokine storm, where these inflammatory cytokines were released in an out-of-control out fashion that tended to attack lung tissue, caused many people to have to be put in respirators. The, uh, uh, it also, uh, black ginger inhibits the gene expression of nitric oxide. Now, nitric oxide is normally a good thing. It dilates the blood vessels, uh, increases blood circulation, lowers blood pressure. But uh, nitric oxide, sometimes uh, in excess, uh, it could actually uh, act as a uh, pro-oxidant and cause cellular damage. Uh, Black ginger inhibits cell senescence. Uh, a cell replicates about 50 times. Afterwards, it goes into what they call a senescent state, in which it just sits there. They call them zombies, zombie cells. But it, it, it continues to release uh, uh, inflammatory substances that cause a lot of bodily and health damage. They're called SASPs. Uh, and, and by uh, in, uh, the inhibition uh, or getting rid of cell senescent cells is now one of the big uh, goals in uh, anti-aging medicine because um, the uh, increased amounts of, se of uh, cell senescent cells are related to the aging process. It also uh, black ginger also inhibits the generation of reactive oxygen species. Uh, has anti-aging effects. It promotes collagen. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. 
I guess you can tell I have a cold. So, <laughs> sorry about that. It uh, Black ginger promotes anti-aging and, and promotes synthesis of collagen elastin. Helps your skin look younger. Uh, as, as far as uh, cardio protection or heart protection, it actually reduces the production of superoxide radicals, which are free radicals, which attack cell membranes in the heart, cause heart damage. In the heart, it does promote nitric oxide production, which again, uh, as a vasodilation effect, it dilates blood vessels in the heart, which is good for blood circulation. And, uh, one of the real unique features about black ginger is that it promotes circadian activity. In other words, circadian is your 24-hour sleep-wake cycle. Uh, it's very important for health because a lot of different things happen during this 24-hour cycle related to body chemistry. And uh, black ginger helps to regulate it. It, uh, it reduces weight gain. It reduces serum triglyceride, triglyceride or fat levels. It reduces visceral fat accumulation. Visceral is a deep-lying abdominal fat, which is the worst type of body fat most associated with diseases, including insulin resistance, uh, fatty liver, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Uh, black ginger can promote the breakdown of body fat. It stimulates the conversion of white adipose tissue, which is your usual fat tissue, into brown adipose tissue, or BAT. Uh, BAT has a high thermogenic activity. It turns calories into heat, and it helps you uh, dissipate excess calories, and in that way, helps you lose body fat. As far as physical performance, there's uh, quite a few animal studies showing that black ginger increases uh, endurance and exercise um, performance in uh, animals. It promotes the uh, release of uh, AMPK. AMPK uh, is pr produced in muscle when the muscles are low in energy. For example, when your glycogen levels go down, when your muscles are low in ATP, uh, AMPK is produced. AMPK switches the use in muscle from using sugar or carbohydrate to using fat as a source of energy. So it's, uh, you know, again, very good for uh, fat loss and endurance. Uh, it also promotes a anabolic uh, pathway in muscle called the AKT pathway. Uh, I, I mentioned how it activates brown adipose tissue. It, uh, the uh, black ginger promotes mitochondrial biogenesis. The mitochondria are portions of the cell where fat is burned in the process called fat oxi uh, beta oxidation and where energy is produced in the form of ATP. So in that sense, uh, uh, black ginger can promote energy uh, production. Uh, what's the active ingredients in black ginger? The main, uh, it's a group of uh, substances called polymethoxyflavones, which are pretty unique to uh, br uh, uh, black ginger. Black ginger also contains a number of phenol phenolic compounds. It contains something called anthocyanins, which are also found in berries, such as blueberries that are very good for your brain and your heart. It contains carotenoids like beta carotenoid, tocopherols, vitamin E, vitamin K1, which is good for the blood clotting and it contains alpha linoleic acid. These are some of the active compounds. <coughs> and um, also black ginger has a uh, kind of interesting effect. Uh, there's a substance uh, produced in the kidneys, it's called SGLT, which uh, when your body, uh, when your kidneys excrete sugar, the SGLT kind of grabs onto the sugar, and it, uh, or glucose, I should say glucose, and it kicks it back in the blood now, that's not too good if you have blood glucose problems. So for example, if you're insulin insensitive or you're pre-diabetic, uh, this can cause hyperglycemia, uh, excess glucose in the blood, which in turn leads to the production of advanced glycation end products in which sugar is incorporated to protein structures and aging and weakening the structures. So you want to lower the uh, excess sugar in the blood. Uh, they came out with drugs to tr for diabetics a couple of years ago called SGLT inhibitors that basically cause you to just piss out ex all the excess sugar. So by doing that, it automatically lowers blood sugar or blood glucose, I should say, to be correct. Uh, well, this stuff, uh, black ginger, has a natural effect 
an inhibiting SGLT. Uh, I don't I don't think it's probably as powerful as the drugs, but the fact that it's capable of doing that, and it also has extremely potent anti-glycation effects, which will again uh, you know slow the effects of aging, because uh, advanced glycation uh, products end products as they're called, or ages. They cause it, uh, tissues, especially connective tissue, to stiffen. A lot of the movement you see in older people where they're very stiff and they can hardly move, that's caused by a buildup of advanced glycation end products over the years. Uh, advanced glycation products are also associated with a lot of skin aging, wrinkles and lines in the face. So uh, black ginger will help to minimize the production of uh, advanced glycation end products. Uh, what about the dose? The dose, uh, well, the first thing you have to know about black ginger is unfortunately, like a lot of these other natural substances, it's a little bit difficult to absorb. You know, how much exactly is absorbed, I'm not sure. I, I just know that it's difficult to absorb orally. Uh, so the usual recommendation is to take between 200 and 1,000 milligrams a day. I, I, I started using it about two weeks ago, and I'm taking 1,000 milligrams a day on the assumption that a lot of it isn't being absorbed. So I want to take more to get to, get, uh, to absorb as much as I can to get the benefits of this stuff. Uh, I'm taking it mainly because I like the uh, effect on glycation, and I like the effect that hopefully it'll help me get rid of a little excess sh glucose circulating the blood, which I have a little bit of a problem with because of genetic factors. So that's why I use that. Also in animals, I should tell you, uh, uh, bl black ginger actually has anabolic effects. It builds up muscle tissue in animals. Again, I don't know. I don't know whether it would do that in humans. There's no human studies to prove that. But the stuff is very interesting compound. Uh, and uh, from what I could see, it's safe. The only people that have to be a little bit wary are if you have a, an existing heart rhythm disturbance. If you take uh, large amounts of black uh, garlic, I'm sorry, black ginger, uh, it might actually, uh, you know, precipitate a little bit of a heart rhythm disturbance if you take large amounts. Uh, so that's the only contraindication. Otherwise, it's pretty safe stuff. So I think that's about it for uh, black ginger. Interesting compound. Um, if you want more information on nutrition, anti-aging research, exercise science, supplement science, which supplements work, which ones don't, ergogenic aids, hormone therapy, women's health and fitness, and many more topics. I cover more topics in applied metabolics than any other digital publication on the entire internet. And no other publication can match my over six decades of experience and constant study. So uh, it's at www.appliedmetabolics.com. It's about 30 to 40 pages every month. No ads, no commercials. I'm not trying to push anything, just like my videos that you're seeing here. Uh, there's no 10% off stuff. I'm not a shill for any supplement company. I'm not going to do that in applied metabolics. There's no ads whatsoever. It's pure, unadulterated, evidence-based information that are of practical use that you can use today. I, don't, I try not to write about studies or information that have no real practical value. So if you really want to learn, if you want to know the under the hood stuff, so to speak, about nutrition and exercise and general health, subscribe to my Applied Metabolics. Again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolic Facebook page where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, and general health. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage where current subscribers only you can send me short questions about anything they read in Applied Metabolics or anything that they're curious about related to nutrition and health. I will answer the question in appreciation for their subscription. Uh, you can look at it as kind of a bonus for subscribing. I don't know if any, I don't, as far as I know, I don't think many of uh, the other people that have uh, online publications provide that service. I think I'm the only one that will answer personal questions. But anyway, uh, so again, subscribe today. Uh, please also consider to subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel. I post a new video every Tuesday. 
It's completely free, no charge. And please let others know about the channel. There's no frills. There's, uh, I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have the patience to use a lot of those video programs. Uh, my friend Rick Drayson, who I used to, uh, when, uh, we used to, uh, I used to be on his uh, videos or his podcasts for so, uh, many times uh, over the years. And uh, Rick, I, I could tell you, Rick had a whole video set, set up in his home. He had like three computer screens. Uh, he would spend literally hours, uh, you know, editing his videos, adding music and all this stuff. I, I'm not into that. In other words, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm being blunt here. I, I don't earn any money from these videos. I, I mean, whatever I get from YouTube amounts to pennies. Uh, this is more like a public service. Uh, and I'm just trying to give useful information and let others know about my applied metabolics. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not really willing to put in, you know, uh, other people have an entire staff who, you know, who do the videos, who basically produce the videos for them. Some of them have like 10, 20 people, believe it or not. It's, with me, it's only me. So I can't do that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's just plain vanilla here. But the good thing is that it's all evidence-based, solid information with no BS, and it's all real. So that's about it. So, you know, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have. Go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Thank you for listening.